Cebu, we meet again. We've been to the Queen City of the South before, but it seems like there's always new and exciting things to explore. There are many reasons that make Cebu an ideal destination. It combines cultural heritage, natural beauty, and modern attractions that appeal to a wide variety of travelers. It has been a couple of years since our last visit, so we were definitely due for a refresher. We started off with a city tour. First, we got a bit of history. We visited Magellan's Cross, a symbol of Cebu's deep-rooted history. When Ferdinand Magellan arrived and introduced Christianity in the Philippines in 1521. Next is the National Museum of the Philippines in Cebu, which just opened last August 2023. The National Museum holds five galleries that capture the rich history, culture, and natural marvels of Cebu. Another museum we visited is the Casa Gorordo Ancestral House, which was originally built in the 1850s where four generations of the Gerardo family have lived here, including Juan Gerardo, the first Filipino bishop of Cebu. The Casa Gerardo is also a perfect example of Balaing Atisa, or a house with a tiled roof. This unique architecture combines native, Spanish, and Chinese influences. After exploring some of Cebu's historic sites and museums, we observed that Cebu isn't just known for its heritage, it's also a hub for design. Today, Cebu's furniture is showcased in international trade fairs and is sought after in luxury markets around the world. Thanks to one Cebuano visionary who has put Cebu on the global map for design, Kenneth Cobonpue. We visited his showroom in Cebu where his signature furniture designs are displayed. Kenneth's pieces are known for their unique and expressive designs that are handmade using natural fibers like abaca, rattan, buri, and bamboo. We also saw Kenneth's most recent project in Universe Store at the New Star Resort. The boutique was enveloped with intricate woven rattan that curves and drapes across the walls and ceiling. It was the perfect canvas for Universe. A multi-brand store that houses premium ready-to-wear items from brands like Helmut Lang, Maison Kitsune, Alexander Wang, and Victoria Beckham, to name a few. This is New Star Resort, the premier integrated resort in Cebu, which opened in 2022. Although some parts are still being developed, New Star finally opened its small this year. A first in the Visayas and Mindanao region offering exclusive luxury shopping. The luxury retail wing of the mall holds brands like Louis Vuitton, Dior, Gucci, Celine, Ferragamo, Burberry, Bulgari, and many more. Tiffany and Co. also made it to Cebu, and with this, is their biggest boutique in the country. Besides its exquisite diamond pieces and Tiffany blue boxes, walking into the boutique, we saw its latest store design concept. We also bumped into someone whose work has become synonymous with elegance and style. Renowned Cebuano fashion designer, June Escario. We couldn't pass up the chance to ask him what he loves most about Cebu, the city that has shaped so much of his iconic designs. This is home to you and you yeah. love it here. Yeah. Um, you know, even if there's work in Manila, mm -hmm. you're here every week. Tell us about no, this new been... schedule. The plan was, this was funny, because yeah. the plan was like two weeks Manila. 
two weeks ago. Yes. So I kind of like started the weekends lang, yes. and then parang di ko yata kaya. No, I can't do it. Yes. Like I, I, I miss the house and I live. I miss the lifestyle and probably the food. For me, like living in Cebu, when you have like, especially like where I live, it's like 20 minutes from the mountains and then probably 30 minutes from the beach. It's different when, when you explain it as an outsider rather than especially yeah. like somebody from Cebu, like having great connections with good friends and yes. with, you know colleagues in, in the business. Um, having that peaceful place where you can say, okay, this is home. Yes. There's nothing else to explain. It's really just home for me. Yes, for many, Cebu may be a destination, but for some like June, Cebu will always be home. One could really spend hours going around the luxury wings and it can really work up an appetite. Another good reason to indulge in a world-class dining experience in Mot 32. You have no idea how happy I am to be eating Peking duck. I once ate a half a Peking duck by myself in Hong Kong because no one was with me and I was dizzy, but I don't regret it. Cheers. Oh my God. Guys, you just eat that part. I'll keep this, okay? Mot 32 is one of the most awarded Chinese restaurants in the world. And there's actually just nine, and we're here in the one in Cebu. So the other ones they have in Hong Kong, of course, Las Vegas, Vancouver, Singapore, Dubai, Toronto, Bangkok, and Seoul. The big question, why they chose Cebu when they opened and not in Manila, it was because co-founder Xuan Mu said they weren't really planning to open in the Philippines, but he said Frederick Goh was so passionate in bringing it together with the opening of New Star Resort. So this is my welcome drink here at Mot 32 here in Cebu and it is called the Forbidden Rose. As you can see, there's a rose on the top. So this is um, pisco with passion fruit and lychee. So I'm gonna try it. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. So this is a good start. To my meal, I am so excited to try the dishes here and just with the cocktails alone, I think I will be back. So far, it's become a favorite, not just for the locals here, but people all over the Philippines fly to Cebu just to eat here. For businessmen and executives who want to combine business with pleasure, Mot 32 now offers an executive lunch set. Oh, thank you. Oh, so this is my starter. In here is the marinated jellyfish and then it has wood ear fungus and cucumber and garlic. It's so fresh. I'm gonna combine both the mushroom and the jellyfish in here. Mm. Very, very fresh, like you're having a taste of the ocean. And then the next one is the soft quail eggs, iberico pork, black truffle shumai. And this is a signature dish here. Mm. Quail eggs inside. Mm. 
even before biting into it, there's that strong smell and immediate taste of the truffle. Mm, it's really good. This one is the scallop prawn hot and sour Shanghainese soup dumpling. I think this is just like a Shaolong Bao. Wow. Oh, that's spicy. What a kick. Mm. And this is the crispy sugar coated barbecue Iberico pork bun. Mmm. 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 -mm. Sweet and savory. Perfect. Perfect. Not too sweet. Okay, so this is the next dish, and this is fish ma. Corn poi garupa soup. Right, smells good. All right, I love that this is also very nutritious because it is very, very high in collagen. Mm. Wow. You can see that, that's corn poi, dried scallops, and then the garupa. I'm gonna try to get a perfect bite. Very gelatinous, very thick, and rich soup. This is the main course. This one is the wok fried romaine lettuce with dried shrimp, minced pork, and shrimp paste. It smells so good. It comes together with the crispy, triple cooked US black Angus short rib. It's really tender, I didn't, I didn't expect that. A little sweet. Mm. It's crisp on the outside, it's really tender inside. It's really, really juicy. So this one comes with the main course as well. This is crab meat fried rice with flying fish roe. Mm. It's very traditional, but with an unexpected twist. And of course, really premium ingredients. I like that it's not overpowering, so you can eat it with a beef. Mm. My mom and dad watch the show. They, you know, I have to eat my greens. So this is the sweetened mango soup, pomelo and sago. And they also served sesame tart with lime, sea salt, and pine nut. I really enjoy that executive lunch at, but that was just an appetizer. I still left room for Mott 32's signature dish. Cue in the cinematic orchestra music. This is going to be epic. This is the Mod 32 Signature Applewood Roasted Peking Duck. And it's smoked with the aromas of dried applewood. Oh gosh, look at the juices coming out of that. Ah, wow. And it smells so good. It's um, a feast, as they call it, intended for royalty. Thank you, Chef. Because that to me was a show, like having, preparing that and how skillfully he was cutting it with a knife. Feels like a show, my favorite show. I am a big fan of Peking Duck. This is difficult because I'm on a diet. I'm on a Peking duck only diet. For my trip here to Cebu, I was waiting for this. I'm so happy that I'm gonna have my Peking duck and I'm going to start with the skin because this was calling my name. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. 
it's a bit briny, but then it's smoky because of the apple wood. I'm gonna have it with a pancake. And I would say this is one of the best ones I've had. Oh my God, I love, 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 love Peking Dog. How did I finish half of this already? Did anyone take from my plate? While I wasn't looking? No, seriously? Oh gosh, it's so good. Oh my gosh, I will be dreaming about it. I've sent photos to my husband and I think I'm gonna take him here. So what's great about Mot32 is that it gives honor to traditional Chinese dishes. The presence of Mot32 here in Cebu just proves that Manila doesn't have monopoly over some of the most exciting culinary destinations. Because here we are in the queen city of the south, Cebu. After finishing a plate or two of Peking Duck in Mot32, I needed a good palate cleanser, or just an excuse to get dessert. And as we searched for the best chocolate in Cebu, we stumbled upon a one-of-a-kind artist, or a queen as many Cebuanas seem to call her. This is Raquel Choa the founder of the Chocolate Chamber in Cebu. The Chocolate Chamber is a concept where guests can delight in everything chocolate. We witnessed Raquel's sense of artistry as she told her story with a theatrical cadence, like she was performing on center stage, and she pound and molded a thick cacao paste in her hand creating her masterpiece, and one that is proudly from Cebu. With Europe as queso de bola and tartufo in Italy, we Filipinos, we have cacao de bola, bola de cacao. And this the cacao de bola has attracted many local chefs who uses it as flavor to garnish even savory dishes. Raquel's unique journey through Cebu's rich cacao heritage is one of a kind. It's an inspiring story of passion, artistry and tradition. Our journey through Cebu has revealed a city where luxury meets tradition. From exploring museums and historical spots that tell the story of this island's rich heritage, to indulging in world-class shopping at the city's luxury mall. Cebu continues to surprise and inspire at every turn, whether you're here to experience its cultural roots or its modern day sophistication. Cebu truly offers the best of both worlds. And as always, there's so much more waiting to be discovered. Until next time, Cebu.